Joining us right now is Michelle Duqueras, AB InBev's CEO. And Michelle, let's talk a little bit just about the street's reactions to the earnings because EBITDA came in better than anticipated. There were some questions, I think, about earnings per share, even though the numbers were solid. There were also some questions about whether you will be able to maintain strong sales if you continue to raise prices. And I think that's why the stock was off a little bit yesterday when those numbers came out. Hey, good morning, Becky. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. Good to see you. Very good to be here. So, yes, yesterday there was some reaction to the share price. But when you, when you look at the fundamentals of the business, as you said, strong revenue growth, more than 11% globally, growth uh, across all regions and zones of ours, EBITDA grew 7 plus percent. So very strong set of results. And earnings per share were uh, slightly down. There are some reasons for that, but most related to FX. We operate globally, and we hold cash on our bank accounts across different entities that we have. And as dollar appreciates, you see that there is some impact coming from this. And the other point is a little bit related to uh, COVID. So second quarter last year, we are coming out of the pandemic. Uh, profits are going up globally as the reopening happens, and then you have taxes implications of these profits. But all in all, we are very happy, satisfied with the results. Beer industry resilient, gaining share of throat globally. Our performance is very good. 60% of our markets growing volume, not only revenues, but growing volumes, and beer premiumizing. Do people drink more during the pandemic, or are they drinking more now that they're getting back out there? I think that during the pandemic, uh, there was a lot of conversations around people drinking more or less. Uh, I assume that as people were home, there was people enjoying more occasions at home, but you need to discount the entire own trade, right? The bars and restaurants that were closed. And now it's happening the opposite. So less occasions at home, more occasions in bars and restaurants, and the reopening of the own trade is a uh, tailwind for the industry overall. And beer globally is growing, which is very important for us, uh, as our own volumes, the 3.4% growth during this quarter was very important, very resilient industry during the pandemic and now after the pandemic continues to grow. Uh, inflation has been a big issue for everybody, and I know your input costs have gone up, but you have had pricing power. How much did you raise prices? By about 8%? Our net revenue per liter in the quarter was a little bit above 7%, and that was uh, a mix of prices plus uh, premiumization and the tailwind of the channels reopening, bars and restaurants that are different brands and packs. And inflation is really uh, going up globally. It's not one market, it's everywhere. We have a lot of experience in working in different markets. Uh, inflation is a new thing for developing countries like the US or the UK, but we operate in countries such as Argentina that has 60% inflation a year, uh, Brazil with inflation above 10. So we have a very good toolkit that we call revenue management, right? And we've been always balancing consumer purchase power, uh, the value proposition of our brands, and we keep trying to minimize how much prices we put out there because a company that is as big as ours has other levers to offset input costs. Uh, but all in all, we've been delivering good revenue growth with a bit of growth, so balancing well.